Well, it's Saturday morning. We're about packed and ready. Um, didn't take much. We're uh, getting quite good at leaving the van packed up and almost ready to go now. So, uh, a few minutes, we'll be on our way. Right, home, we're on our way. Um, it's a lovely, nice morning. We've got off to a good early start. And the forecast is good for the rest of the weekend. So, uh, should be good. Ah, we've stopped at Leicester Forest Services to have some uh, breakfast. Yeah, very nice. Oh, that filled a hole and we're back on the road again. Oh, I've arrived at the campsite, all set up, and a nice cup of tea. Cheers. So this is us, we're at the uh, Walbrook Farm site near Longner. This is a Camping and Caravan Club CL and I've got a Garibaldi. Oh, we're off on the electric bikes to uh, find a shop to get some uh, beer and some wine because uh, our friend is joining us for a barbecue this evening. Well, I've got my electric bike today so I can keep up with Nikki. Excellent. I've got a bit of a fly in my eye. Look at the beautiful view. She's shot off again. We did make it to Hartington and Nikki's gone in the shop to get some uh, drinks for this evening. Uh, we shot past some mountain bikers on the way who were a little bit put out at us uh, whizzing past on our electric bikes, but uh, that's the way it goes, I suppose. They got some tea. So off we go back through Hartington. Uh, pretty busy on a nice sunny day like this. Heading back to the campsite. Again. These electric bikes really do make things very much easier. Uh, we whizzed into Hartington with no problem from uh, the Woolacott Farm campsite, which is probably, I don't know, it's got to be uh, four miles or so. No, maybe not. Maybe about three miles, I suppose. Yeah, Nikki's bike with its uh, hub motor seems to whiz up the hills even better than my bike with its uh, crank drive. There really are some nice little lanes for cycling around here. Well, we're back at the van and um, I've discovered the fridge doesn't seem to be working um, on the mains power, um, which it was before. It might be that the um, van isn't level. Um, it is quite a bit out of level. We haven't got round to buying any levelling blocks yet. so. Uh, we are on a bit of a slope, so maybe it's that. I've had a fiddle around. Um, if it doesn't get working again, I might put it onto the gas, I suppose. See if that works. Now, I've had a cup of tea and give it a chance to get cold, but uh, it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I'm gonna switch it over to the gas, I think. Well, there we go. I've successfully switched it over to the gas. So uh, we'll have to check that when we get home and make sure it was just the fact that we were so far off level that stopped it working on the electric. Okay, we've got the barbecue on and we've got some um what we got we've got some sea bass and some salmon in there all right well we've had our barbecue and uh marilla's come to stay with us there's a tent over there and she's had the bright idea of running the van up on the uh ground stabilization mats that we brought with us and moving it forward a little bit to make it level and that's worked lovely brilliant yeah, so you can see what we've done and that has actually uh, made the fridge work perfectly. So, excellent. Well, we had a good night last night, just sitting out looking at the stars after we had our barbecue. Um, so I'll just show you a little bit of the campsite so you can see what it's like. So yeah, there we go. Um, very pleasant. There's um, a couple of toilets to use and some showers and a little washing up point and plenty of grass and field to play on and camp on and such. Well, it's another lovely morning and I'm cycling back into Hartington to get some supplies for tonight while Nikki has a rest. Um, and then we're going to cycle the Manifold Trail, I think. What a glorious morning. Yeah, the road's a bit bumpy. Got loads of other people camped down there. Just look at this rather splendid view. Excellent. Very nice. 
Well, I was really looking for chicken for Nicky, but they didn't have any chicken. Um, so I had to get some bacon instead, but uh, Nicky likes bacon. Well, who doesn't really? I suppose everyone likes bacon, don't they? Well, we've got a moment. I want to show you something silly I did to my bike. A very foolish mistake. Um, because the weather's quite hot, I've been uh, lubricating the chain with some spray silicone grease, and uh, I've I've over sprayed onto the uh, onto the brake disc. Um, and <laughs> The back brake is is now not very effective, so so don't grease your brake discs, people. Yeah, it's, it's not a particularly good idea. Well, it's so warm today. I've had to change some light trousers, um, and now I think we're nearly ready to go off onto the manifold trail. Keep saying that we were going to do it. We're going to do it. Honestly, we really are. There we go. We are off onto the manifold trail, um, and we're just about to go round the end of Ecton Hill. Just stopped at Apes Tor. This is Apes Tor level I think. Um, I've never had a, a, a look in there. It's, it's securely gated. I'm just gonna have a peer through the gate, see what I can see. There we go, this is the, this is the access to the winding shaft. Well, there we go, I guess uh, looks like the shaft's filled in, I guess. Um, quite a nice little picturesque hole there. Hello Mrs. Hello. And this is Apes Tor itself, and you can see the uh, the folding in the rock there, where there's been some uh, some geological movement, I suppose. This is all uh, limestone, so I suppose it would have been a coral reef at one time. And about this time of year, you get a lot of this, uh, which I believe is wild garlic. Um, you can usually smell it, but I can't can't seem to smell it today. Okay, so behind me is uh, Ecton Hill up there. Um, these, the, this hill had lots and lots of uh, copper in it and there's uh, some very rich copper mines uh, in their time here. And just down there past that little building is the entrance to the deep level which connects into the workings at the top of the hill. And there's a big pipe vein working which goes um, <clears throat> right down way below river level and they were testing, or they are testing, I think at the moment, some unmanned exploration vehicles to to help in the mapping of abandoned mine working. So I'm not sure how they're getting on with that, but uh, I'll have to check up on that later. And there's the uh, Clayton um, Adit level, which uh, again goes in a long way and connects in with other mine workings uh, underneath the hill. Well, I've poked my head into this short level just to have a, a bit of a look. I've been in here before, but... Uh... It's uh, always nice to get underground. We haven't got the caving gear with us this weekend, so uh, just poking in a, a, a little way just to get the feel of it. Um, as always, of course, don't enter any old mine workings unless you're confident you know what you're doing or you're with someone who knows what they're doing. But uh, this is just a short trial level. It was actually used by um, a dairy that operated in the valley to dump their uh, waste products. So at one time, this was a bit of a Milky, smelly old place, I guess. Oh, it's quite wet in here today, so uh, I think I'll head out before I get my feet too wet. There's Nikki waiting for me, doing a bit of her knitting by the side of the road. I Excellent. <laughs> yeah, and there's uh, there's Acton Hill. The uh, river manifold. Look at that! Look, very pretty. Right now we've got to go through the uh, the old railway tunnel. Uh, the manifold trail was uh, built on top of the old railway track bed. So uh, yeah, this is the old railway tunnel. Excellent. I like a nice railway tunnel. Nicky likes a nice railway tunnel too, don't you, darling? No? No. Okay. I think he doesn't like railway tunnels. Not sure what sort of tunnel she prefers, but it seems to like railway tunnels. Anyway, about to come out the other end. Back into the sunshine. Don't go into the light, Caroline. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous day. Mug of tea and a slice of cake at Wetton Mill. Lovely spot, Wetton Mill, to come and have a, a cup of tea and a slice of cake. And then the little rocks above 
there are some small caves. Have a look, see what's in there. It actually looks like um, there's some daylight coming in from above. Maybe it's possible to uh, get out the top. Let's have a look. Ooh. I'm sure I've been in here before, but I don't remember it. further on the here. That just sort of closes down a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, this is about as far as you can get. But, uh, oh, a bit slimy and muddy. Oh dear. Mud on my trousers, I think. Yeah. Now, back into the light. Well, that was a bit more of an interesting little cave than I remember. It did get a bit muddy though, dear. Yeah, I wonder what Nicky will say. I found another little cave. Come with me and I'll go back uh, the way I came through. Nikki, look, waiting down there by the river. I wonder what she'll say when she sees the state of my trousers. Seems we've got away with that, and uh, we're back on the trail again. Lambs. Look at the lambs. Yeah, what are you looking at? It's a uh, busy day on the Manifold Trail today. Sunny weather's brought everyone out. You can see the river's gone now, it dries up and flows, or what less, what's left of it flows underground in this uh, part. There's a few little pools and things, but uh, not much water left in the river here at all. It's uh, Thor's cave up there. Cows! I like to see the cows. Hi mates, what you doing? Definitely highly recommend the Manifold Trail. Very enjoyable and very scenic. This southern section of the trail seems to be a lot quieter than the northern section. A lot less people around. Um, a bit shaded by the trees and everything. Very nice. Very uh, pleasant on a hot summer's day. Or spring day, I suppose. Or tea and cake. <laughs> ah. Well, there you go, this is uh, water houses, pretty much the end of the uh, trail. And now it's really just a, a matter of turning around and heading back again. I don't think we really mind that too much. It's a, it's a lovely day and there's uh, good views and we'll see them all in the other direction. Another tea stop on the way back. Oh, we're back at the van now and uh, I'm going to relax for a while I think with a cup of tea and a scotch egg. Another barbecue tonight, and uh, now I'm going to go off for a bit of a, a stroll. And there's a bit of a swampy bit there. See the swampy bit behind me? So we're going to go down and find the, uh, the proper path before we sink forever in the swamp. What do you reckon, missus? I reckon it's wise not to follow you. Hmm. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Nice up here, very good. Nice evening stroll. Can you get over? Ow! What was that? Jaws. I've gone all girly tonight. There we go. The sun's setting now. Look at that, very nice. Oh, made it back okay, and uh, now for some tea, hot chocolate, and coffee, I think. It's Monday morning now uh, and a good night's sleep. Um, lovely weather again. Um, not sure we're gonna, what we're going to do today, but uh, 
I'm gonna have a cup of tea, I think, and sit out in the sunshine for a little while. Cheers. Now we're parked in Wetton and we're gonna walk down to Thor's Cave and maybe have a cup of tea at Wetton Mill. This is a pleasant little lane, isn't it, Dan? Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Thor's Cave is in the uh, crag over there. Nettles. We used to take her for walks and she didn't feel the stinging nettles. That was weird. Yeah, another lovely day. Excellent. <laughs> Look at the beautiful view. Yeah, this is looking back down the manifold valley that we cycled up yesterday. I'm on top of the world. Now we've climbed up to the top of the crag and uh, yeah, worth showing you the um, the view again. Look at that. Excellent. This is uh, Thor's cave. Quite a few people here already. Yeah, there's the view back out. Hello, Hello Marilla. And there's Nikki. Hello. Yeah, it's good here. It does actually go quite a long way back, so you can clamber around and get almost into the darkness to explore. So here we are in the far end of the cave. Um, less people come up here because it is pretty dark, I guess. Um, but well worth a look. Yeah, recommend Thor's Cave as a bit of a diversion from the walk. Hello, um, Nikki, look. Hello. Come back, mate. Right, enough of that. Let's go and find the meal to have a cup of tea. There we go, some nice uh, steps down to the river. Some more wild garlic and some uh, bluebells in the woods here. Nice to be on this path in the woods uh, in the shade. Uh, the sun's a bit fierce today. And we're back on the manifold trail, but this time on foot. We're on the bridge, aren't we? We are indeed. Yeah, on the bridge. Look at the mill, loads of people here today. Yeah, very busy. Sun's brought everyone out, eh? Now climbing back up through the woods to Wetton where we parked the car. Oh, it's quite a relief to be back in the shade again. Need to get a bit fitter, I think. Oh, it's a long slog through these uh, fields in the open sunlight. I wonder if I'll make it. Might find my dried out dead body in a few weeks or so all shriveled up on the hillside. Or maybe it would be all right, I don't know. Oh, well, that, that was quite a hot walk. Um, gonna have a cup of tea and then pack up and head for home. Well, that was good, but unfortunately, now we have to go home. So, uh, see you next time. for now if you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new